friend. Uh, I am at the theater about to see A Star Is Born, um, a, a, a um, free screening of it. I feel like a, a rock star right now because it's free, and they rolled out pretty much like the red carpet, not the red carpet, but um, they're being very hospitable. Uh, we're in the theater with recliners. We have free popcorn, um, free drink, icy. I'm gonna turn the hot movie is all right. Hey friend, oh, look, so if you've been watching the videos from the day, you've been knowing that I, uh, and you especially you saw, I don't know which one it was, but maybe the last one, my spirit was a little low. I was having technical difficulties, in which I still am, uh, with my phone, um, everything wasn't working. And then I checked my email and I was invited to a premiere screening or something of that nature for A Star Is Born starring Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. And I got it at five and the screening was at seven. And I just got, I was like, well, I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> I um, I sign up for advanced screenings because um, that's something that happens in the city. So I go to them often, but this wasn't something that I signed up for. So I, I'm thinking that I was a part of a database or something like that, I don't know. Uh, but I was invited to go. And they didn't have a lot of people that attended because it was short notice. Um, and I think it was kind of exclusive. And it wasn't like the regular screenings where they kind of really, it's like your homeboy puts the movie on for you. That's the kind of vibe that it, it has because they literally um, just put you in the room in, in a theater and they just put the movie on. You know, there's usually no previews. Sometimes there's some cool things. Like one time I went to see a movie and it was 3D in 3D, so that was kind of cool. But usually it's just, they just put the movie on. There's no hoopla about it. And when the movie is finished, they don't even turn the lights back on for you to see how to get out. This was different. Um, we There was a lot of security there. We had to be patted down and, you know, ma I don't know if you call it a magnetized. I don't know if you check you for metal guns all kind of things and then we were given uh vouchers for free popcorn a free drink there was a, a backdrop for us to take pictures you know with the stars born logo and warner brothers and sony i believe um and then we were in the theater with the reclining seats i was smiling head to toe because it just made my day i felt so special and i just didn't know what i did to really deserve it <laughs> but i did deserve it and the only thing that i was missing was my friends you guys i was thinking about you the whole time and i couldn't wait to come back to tell you about this movie and baby i can't believe i saw it for free it was so so good and the only word that i the, the one word to describe it if i can describe it in one word is oscar oscar Lady Gaga is going to win an Oscar. Lady Gaga is going to win an Oscar, especially if she co-wrote any of the songs. Uh, if she if she co-wrote the lead songs on this film, she's going to win an Oscar. Cause I can't I can't think that there's going to be a movie that comes out within the time frame for the next Academy Awards that will have better music than this movie featured. And we're gonna start there because we all know Lady Gaga for her 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 her, her music, and she outdid herself. This is the best. Uh, I mean, she sounded real good when she sang the national anthem. She sounded real good. I mean, like real good when uh, national anthem sounded real good when she uh, did the Academy Awards that one year. I think she did the Judy Garland. Did she do Judy Garland? I don't remember, but she sang the Academy Awards. Sounded real good. She's always so impressive, and her you know original music um, is interesting. It goes a lot of different places. Um, but she outdid her damn self excuse me excuse my french but she outdid her damn self like she sounded so good in these songs so good so good at the end i'm not giving no previews but at the end she was giving me very much 90s diva moment where she was singing like a 90s diva like the whitney's and the mariah's she was singing i said you better come through you better come through with the vocals and i just can't see like if she co-wrote I believe that she's going to be nominated for Best Actress, but she's ha she has a chance to win two Oscars as far as I'm concerned because I cannot see there being another movie with better with a better song that can take that take 
the Oscar from them. I just can't see it. And maybe there will be, but I can't see it right now. And, you know, Lady Gaga was the only one singing up in the movie. And, it, oh, before, I believe there are many, most of the, the movie, she was singing live. I think that she was not singing to approve or the track. I think she was actually singing live. And maybe she wasn't. But she sure fooled me if she wasn't. If she was. If she wasn't. If she was singing live, she sure fooled me. <laughs> I, got, I got lost my mind. Because it sounded so raw and natural. Mm. But she wasn't the only one singing. Bradley Cooper can sing. Y'all, Bradley Cooper can sing. Like, sing, sing. Like, um, not like, you know, not like Brian McKnight sing. But I'm talking about he can sing, like, but also not like, I, you know, I'm holding a tune sing. Like, he can sing. And he became, I believe his, he, I believe his, char his character was more of a country singer. But not like, a, um, not, not like Gart Brooks, though. But not like Rascal Flatts. Like, somewhere in the nice in-between. And he became, but what he did become is he became a freaking rock country star and let me tell you something now let's move on to the acting and we're gonna start with bradley cooper and then move on to lady gaga bradley cooper is a beast and i knew this but i forgot but i did notice i'm gonna tell you why i knew this and we're gonna jump back to the stars born but whenever he did silver's a silver silver linings playbook right he was nominated for an academy award best actor but the um all the attention was really about Jennifer Lawrence. And look, I'm not trying to hate on Jennifer Lawrence. There may be Jennifer Lawrence's fans, fans on this, um, you know, some some of my, some of y'all some friend, you may be a Jennifer Lawrence fan. And that's fine. But I felt like the best actor in Silver Linings playbook was Bradley Cooper. And it just so happened that he was in the wrong category. He couldn't win. Like, if it was a matter of out of them two who would win the Academy Award, I felt like he was the better actor in that movie. I'm not going to go and make this anything else about Jennifer Lawrence because she won it and it is what it is. But I felt like he was the better actor. And he did. I don't know if he was able to get the recognition because he didn't win in his category. But I was like, Bradley Cooper is a beast. I felt like he carried that movie, in my opinion. Let's fast forward to, he. you know, he's always playing against, I guess, someone, because Lady Gaga might beat him, too, if he's up against some stiff competition. Uh, but, um, and I'm saying, not like they're in competition with, with each other, but, you know, like, as far as the female categories and the male categories, you know, it seems like if you lose and, the, and they win, then they'll get, I guess, the attention from it, and they'll always get, like, well, this movie won so-and-so Academy Award, and, you know, and it also starred Bradley Cooper. Uh, and that might happen again. I don't know. But he's going to get nominated, I, I feel, because he did his thing. And what was so interesting is that I, I, at times I forgot it was Bradley Cooper. I forgot it was damn Bradley Cooper. Um, he looks so different. He grew his hair out. At times he was giving me very much Rick Grimes from Walking Dead with the way he was looking. Like, I was like, is that right? No, that's Bradley Cooper. Okay. And the man didn't create a character. He created the whole human being. He created the whole human being, y'all. Like, his, and it's just so, it's so delicate. And it's so subdued. And it's so, I can't, I can't get the right word out, but it's just so intricate. And it's so, it's not big things. It's little things. It's little natural things. Hey, friends. Uh, I'm back. Look, my phone is hating on me right now, doing all the most. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to get back into Bradley Cooper. And I forgot what I was saying, but I was saying how good Bradley Cooper was and how he created a whole human being outside of just a character like most, not saying most actors do, but I'm saying it was really special what he did. It was really special what he did. Bradley Cooper's a beast. He is a complete beast. And then, you know, he has a date in history. He dated a whole bunch of Jennifers, like Jennifer Lopez, maybe Jennifer Lawrence, maybe I know there's like one other Jennifer. Like I, I, I made a joke, I made a joke in my head once that he dated every Jennifer except Jennifer Hudson. Um, Zoe Saldana. Uh, there's something going on between him and Lady Gaga, or maybe there was, and I totally understand. I totally understand, but um, I didn't really get it. I'm like, what are these girls seeing in Bradley Cooper? I get it. He got swag. 
He got swag. He got charm. He got he got swag. He got charm. I got totally got it in this movie. He did a really good job being a leading man. And side note, um, I shot a I shot a music video a few days ago, and there was a couple, like there was a like there was a leading couple in in the music video, and. The way they were with each other, the way they were with each other, made me feel like I've never seen anyone in love before. <laughs> All right, it's just been a really long time, because I don't know if they knew each other beforehand. I doubt they did, but they were acting like they had been in love, like they're they're not been in love, that they were in like this. They were in, in this love, and it was not even just the uh, when they, they said action. They just kind of just stayed in it, and they're walking around holding hands and arms around each other. And it was the way they were talking with each other and laughing and playing and all kind of things. And we were at a fair, so they just it was just so many things to do as a couple, eating kind of candy, and it just looked so in love. And it wasn't just. It was the way they gazed at each other. It was, just, and there was no cameras on. I don't know. Maybe they were really attracted to each other. They were both beautiful. But um, yeah, I say that to say that Bradley Cooper did his thing, and it made me made me think about them when I was watching the movie. Like his how uh, him and Lady Gaga their relationship in the movie made me think of that couple because yeah, I, I saw something like that up close, and it's really powerful when you see things like that. I've never been I've never been in love, so uh, yeah. I was a little bit in my feelings, but I'm here with you guys. I love y'all, so that makes it all that makes that makes up for it. Um, let's move on to Lady Gaga's acting. Who about to curse? Uh, I was about to say this B, but this woman, I think she might be the most talented entertainer that is out right now. I don't even think I know this because she can. She just does everything. She does everything. I know a lot of you know. You know, we have people who win like the EGOTs, but like they may win like a grammy for singing but maybe a tony for producing and this and that i feel like lady gaga might win an egot in her lifetime and if she does it'll all be for performance and not like one for one performing here and one behind the scenes or this and that I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but i believe that she'll win uh she has the potential to win top honors in at in, in, in every award show because she's just that good she's just that good she's just that good ah um the whole movie i knew it was gaga i knew, i was like saying okay oh, but it wasn't like she was playing lady gaga it's just that she was playing a singer so it it wasn't uh it wasn't hard to make the association that it, you know gaga and her character it wasn't hard to make that association and but it still worked and um you saw her in so many different in the in the movie you saw her in different uh, in different artistic stages and it was so interesting to see that um she's a really good actress actor really good I, it's hard for me to talk about her without i don't want to spoil the movie for anyone but she's incredible and she's just always just so impressive you know i know when she came out she was doing a lot of quirky things that may have seemed like it was just trying to get attention or to some people and you know before i think for most of the world they did get their attention they thought it was genius she is a genius she's a genius and she hasn't really been out as long as a lot of the legends have been out. They're considered legends, and she's already a legend. To me. She's already a legend. She's already a legend. And um, before this movie, I thought maybe saying that was premature. Like, you know, like she's wrong to be like, she's just a legend. She, because no one has had a career like her. No one has had a career like her. Uh, I think maybe, and I don't, I don't mean to hate on Jennifer Lopez, but... Um, I think Jennifer Lopez had been riding the wave of maybe being the only uh, successful actress and singer uh, that has been really, really, really successful in both maybe at the same time. And baby, uh, there's somebody else in the club and they, they, they're they going to be, uh, J-Lo, you about to be vice president in that club because Gaga's going to be president, commander in chief in that club because she is killing it. Killing it, killing it, killing it, killing it, killing it. I, I do believe she's going to be nominated for Best Actress. I do believe if she wrote these songs, she will be nominated for uh, the songs. Um, 
and she'll probably win for uh definitely for the songs if she did uh write on them um and i mean as for best actress i she you know those things those things go how they go but shoo she's gonna be shoo we just gonna see there were some other people in the movie as well so i want to shout them out sam elliott if you don't know who Sam Elliott is, Google him, you know his face. He's actually on the Netflix show Grace and Frankie, or Frank and Grace. I forgot what order that goes in. Uh, that's with Jane Fonda and, oh girl, I can't think of her name right now, but we love her. Um, and he played Jane Fonda's boo. He has that real old school leading man look like victor newman on the young the wrestlers but skinny he did his thing in the movie he played bradley cooper's brother he did his thing like he did his thing he proved that he was like look i'm a i'm a veteran up in this piece he did his thing uh dave Chappelle was in the movie he wasn't like he was he wasn't in all of the movie he was in uh parts of the movie and dave Chappelle impressed me because he wasn't the dave Chappelle that i know you know, I know Dave Chappelle from Ch Chappelle's show and like having that in and even before then in different movies and having this interesting voice, you know, um, I'm Rick Damn, bitch, you know, like things like that. Like, but that wasn't who came up in that movie. And that was really interesting to see, um, to see that. You know, that he was able to uh, to to bring a natural performance out. And that's pretty much what it was, but it was still impressive. It was just a natural performance. And I was impressed with it. He also looks like he's been working out. Uh, his arms were, like, really muscular. And then we got to talk about Anthony Ramos. Uh, Anthony R Ramos, it, he plays Mars on She's Gotta Have It. And Mars is my favorite character on the She's Gotta Have It TV show on Netflix, which is a... Uh, a reboot of uh, Spike Lee's movie that he turned into a Netflix series. And uh, Anthony Ramos plays Mars. He's my favorite character on Mars. I want to know, like, to be with Mars and only Mars because I thought he was so cool. But I thought he was so cool because I liked Anthony Ramos. It's just something about him and his personality that I like that transmits well on screen. And it was the same thing in this movie. He was just a really good addition. He played Lady Gaga. I'm gonna call Lady Gaga. I, I don't remember her name in the movie. I was calling her Gaga in my head, but it's still. But it wasn't because she was playing Lady Gaga. It was totally different. But because it wasn't mus a musician, I was, like, I was gonna go with Gaga. I was gonna go with Gaga. Um, oh, her name. I know her name because they had it all on a bill. I ain't gonna. I, I ain't gonna spill nothing. But she played in the movie. She played a musician. So obviously, in the star is born, she becomes a star, and they had her name. You know, a lot said it a lot um so i don't know why i'm just drawing a blank but it is what it is um yeah anthony Ramos was a great addition he played lady gaga's character's best friend a uh, rose dog in the movie and it was just a really a really natural performance he has a great personality and it just transmits very well on screen he's a rising star he's going to be a lead actor in a movie called monsters and men that also stars kevin harrelson and Ju Kara kevin or Kelvin Harrison Jr., who's from New Orleans and is another rising actor as well. So I'm really excited for him. Keep your eye out for him. I just see big things in his future. Um, and then when the movie was finish, finishing, this is what I saw. The whole thing was directed by Brad LaCoupa. Blow my mind. Blew my mind. I don't understand how you can be in a movie and act in it and give an acting performance that of that caliber and also direct it. Like, that's, he, he's a beast for that. And if he doesn't win for um, Best Actor because of maybe somebody else just has another breakout performance, he could, he could win for Best Director. And he can also win because it seemed like I saw his name as um, he wrote the screenplay as well. So there's a lot of categories that he can get his Academy Award for, and it is well-deserved because the, the, uh, the, the script was so natural. Uh, it reminds me of, oh God, that I can't think of his name right now, but he wrote the, uh, the, the Social Network. His kind of writing style in a sense where it's just kind of, it's so good and it, and it can be so natural at times. Like where he's really good with dialogue, uh, creating natural dialogue. And Bradley Cooper did the thing. He had a co-writer as well, so it wasn't just him, but I mean, not to take away from what he did. It was incredible. Um, and it just, it just proves that he's a really, he's a force. 
He really is a force. I'm just really impressed. I'm bucked up. I can't believe I saw it for free. Kind of like they, for free. Like this is too good to see for free. Think when you're gonna see something for free, it'll at least be, it'll just be a height. You know, it'll be kind of bootleg. But um, this was incredible. This was incredible. I suggest you all go see this movie when it comes out. It comes out in October. I wish I had the date. I don't have the exact date for it, but who? Just keep a lookout for it when it comes out. Go to that theater. Go see it. You're not going to be disappointed at all. You're going to go on a, a journey, um, a really fascinating journey, friends. And tell me, when you go see it, tell me about it. Tell me how much you like it so we can have this conversation again. I can relive this moment. Um, and that's it, y'all. I had a really, really good time. This made my day. I felt so special. Thank you to who, thank you to whatever force. Um, allow that to happen i i because i did not sign up for this movie maybe i signed up for something i don't i but it wasn't anything that was recent so i just don't know how this came about being but i'm so happy that i got a chance to see this movie because i wasn't really interested in seeing it to be honest with you and shame on me <laughs> shame on me i would have waited i would have waited till it got to red box and if you know me i don't even go to red box so it would have had i would have had to wait till it got to netflix hmm and I would have been missing out. So do not wait till Redbox. Don't wait till Netflix. When it goes to the theater, uh, I wish you could see it for free like me. But look, trust me, it is worth it's worth you paying a few dollars for it. And if your movie theater has a five dollar Tuesday, bam, bam, go, go, there you go. Um, so that's it, guys. Oh, so if you're not my friend already. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Let's be friends. And we can talk more about movies and TV shows too. Because I had a request for that. So we might get into some TV shows. Or a uh, TV show. I, my time is plenty, y'all. Uh, but And then drop down in the comments. And let me know what we want to talk about. So what if there are any TV shows. I mean, you can make suggestions. I can't promise y'all that I can watch all these shows now. But uh, make some suggestions. Maybe we can do more movies. Uh, we can have some movie talk. Um, and yeah. Love you guys. I'm so happy I was able to talk with you guys about it and go see A Star is Born in October on that date it comes out because I don't know that date. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye.